Hello everyone. Today, in this video, we are going to learn how to perform a Wilcoxon signed rank sum test. It is different from Man Whitney U, U test. You should understand here. So we'll quickly move on uh, to calculate with an example how to perform this Wilcoxon signed rank sum test. So if uh, you have not uh, subscribed to my channel, kindly do that. We'll quickly move on to the uh, sum, how to perform this Wilcoxon signed rank sum test here. Okay, first of all, we should understand what is this Wilcoxon signed rank test is about. So it is also called as Wilcoxon signed rank sum test also. We have to, uh, we are, uh, sometimes it is called as Wilcoxon signed rank test without this sum. Sometimes we can also say that Wilcoxon signed rank sum test also. Okay, so now only the difference between Man Whitney and this one is there won't be a signed in Man Whitney. That's also called as Wilcoxon rank sum test. Here, Wilcoxon signed rank sum test is this one. So how to perform this and what is this? First, we, we should understand here. It is used to find the relationship between two related sample. The two samples should be related. So this is a sample one and sample two, some relationship should be present between these two. Then only we can use this Wilcoxon signed rank test. In Man Whitney, we are not going to uh, have any relationship. It is two independent samples. Okay, that's the difference between these two. We should uh, keep it in mind. Okay, so now it is a non-parametric test as usual for a matched pair data. See, for example, uh, before and after. See, for example, I'm giving a, a BP tablet and measuring it, okay? So measuring the BP, for example, uh, 120 bar 80, for example. After this, I'm getting it as 125 uh, bar um, 70 like that, okay? So, so some value. So these are all the matched pair value. It has been done for only one person here, that's why it's called matched pair. Okay, so, so that's why we'll be using this. And then it's a non-parametric test for repeated measures also. Then it is a non-parametric counterpart of paired sample t test. This is this is called the parametric test. Okay, parametric test, and this is uh, used for non-parametric. Okay, so now it is used to compare the two sample medians in Wilco uh, Wilcoxon uh, rank sum test, that is man Whitney U test. So we were using mean for this. We are comparing mean in that. Here, we are going to compare medians, okay? Now medians are equal or not. See, for example, median one equal to median two can be written as median one minus median two will be zero. The difference between the medians is zero. Just like that also, we can take the null hypothesis here to keep it in mind. Okay, so now uh, it is used when the data is not following a normal distribution. That's why it is called uh, the uh, non-parametric test here. Okay, so now uh, is there a formula? No, right? So we're not going to have a formula for this. Anyway, we are going to have a procedure for this. So before that, we should understand what is the test statistics here, okay? My test statistic is nothing but the W. We will be doing W calculator, okay? And we'll be finding W critical from the table, which is given already as usual, right? So we are going to find out the smallest of W plus and W minus. I'm going to tell you what is this W plus is. Okay, so W plus is nothing but some of the positive ranks, the ranks which are going to have a positive sign. Okay, those are called positive ranks and those which are having the negative ranks, negative sign is called the negative ranks, positive sign. See, suppose plus five, minus two. So this plus five is the positive rank, minus two is the negative rank. So anyway, when we are ranking, we are not going to attach the sign only finding the ranks after that, we are going to attach the signs that I'm going to uh, do it in a step-by-step -step procedure here, okay? So now uh, we are going to take an example here. Let us suppose that we want to investigate the effectiveness. Suppose people are not sleeping because of some disorder. So I'm going to give a therapy for them, okay? So how to sleep? We are giving in the form of a tablet or in the form of a exercise or something. That is, I'll call it as a therapy. And after the therapy, people are sleeping nicely or not, I'm going to check it. See, for example, I'm sleeping uh, seven hours a day. So I'm having a disorder for one hour, so uh, sleepless night. So I'm giving a therapy, then I'm measuring it, okay? So like this, five, um, 
uh, see uh, five days or six days i am going to give that right so so it will be a pad data see only one person is here okay so only one person so this is before therapy and after therapy for one person i'm going to have two datas here okay seven hours eight hours similarly for another person five hours two hours three hours seven hours so it's a paired data so i'll be using it okay so now i'm going to table it this in the number of hours of sleep before and after therapy is being recorded for five days for example the data is given below like this okay so for this data i'm going to see this is before therapy and this is after therapy the number of hours they are uh, sleeping so they have tabulated here so now i'm going to have uh, this as a, a solution here so first i have to frame the null hypothesis here okay now the median difference is zero that means median one is equal to median two i can take it otherwise i can take the new therapy is not effective the meaning for this is the new therapy is not effective then alternate hypothesis is same the median difference is not zero the new therapy is effective. So then I'm going to take the level of significance is 0 0.05 as usual, just like our previous example. You have not visited our channel, just kindly see the previous example from the playlist, okay? We have done a, a hypothesis testing playlist here. So you can just visit and see so that step-by-step -step procedure you will understand here. Now, what will be the sum for us? I'm going to table it this sum here. So this is the sum, okay, whatever is the previously given. For this, I have framed the null hypothesis and alternate by hypothesis, I have selected the uh, alpha here. Alpha, alpha uh, also should be selected, okay? So sometimes it is 0 0.01 also you can select, but for our clarity, we have set 0 0.05. Now, how to calculate this? It is a very simple procedure you have to do. Calculate the difference for before and after, okay? With the sign, you have to remember here with the sign okay now whenever it is five minus six i should write minus one six minus five means i should write one so i am having a sign here okay so now difference with sign i'm going to note it down here okay now this is the value which is given so i'm going to write seven minus eight that should be minus one here five minus six which gives you minus one then six minus four which gives you two here then four minus four is equal to zero then three minus six, which gives you minus three. So before I write it as B and after I'm writing it as A, okay? For our clarity, I'm going to write this. I'm going to show it here. Now you note down this here, we are getting a zero here. The difference is zero. We are going to omit that particular value. You have to keep it in mind. Whenever the difference comes zero, I'm going to omit that value, okay? So now I'm going to show it. Ray area minus one, minus one, two, here zero, here it is minus three. Now, what will be my next step here? See, I'm going to add the ranks for the absolute value of the difference here. See, what is the meaning of this is, see, 7 minus 8, 1 I have got it. I am going to take the value as the absolute value. I am omitting it. See, for example, minus 3, absolute value is 3. Minus 1, absolute value is 1. Or uh, three absolute value is three. So positive value I have to take. So minus one is taken as one, minus one is taken as one, two is taken as two. Now I'm go going to omit this value. So leave it. Now three is taken as three. Okay, that's what is the leaving the zero difference. I'm going to leave it. Then I'm going to take the absolute difference here. Then what I'm going to do in that next step. So absolute difference after that, I am going to take the rank here. Okay, now add the ranks for the absolute values for the difference leaving the zero difference that's what is that so i have uh, filled up up to this here b minus a so it is a value which is given already okay so now i am going to rank it here okay now how many ranks are there one two three four ranks should be there one two three four ranks are available now for us for us now this one and one so first rank and second rank it is repeated so first rank and second rank should be shared among this it is 1.5 so i'll write 1.5 here i'll write 1.5 here then the third rank which will come for this and the fourth rank which comes for this that's what is the rank i'm going to uh, rank it so suppose if you do not know how to rank the data we have done a video in our channel how to rank the data just visit this so that it will be easy for you to understand this okay so once it is done, I'm going to fill it up here. This I'm leaving it. This is 1.5, this is 1.5, this is third rank, this is fourth rank. Now, this rank 
came from the negative value. So I'm going to attach the rank with this minus sign. And here it is came from the negative. So I'm attaching. This came from the positive value. So I'm attaching plus three. Then this came from the negative value. So I'm going to attach minus four here. That's what you have to remember. Okay. So it is very simple uh, for you to remember here. Uh, this is how we'll have to calculate the uh, values, absolute values. Then I'm going to calculate the uh, a plus rank and minus rank I'm going to calculate and I'm going to uh, just table it this so that uh, it is easy for us to uh, do the particular sum here. So in the next uh, data, I'm going to show it here. Uh, so once uh, the signs are assigned to you, you are going to calculate the W plus and W minus here. So how to calculate, I'm going to uh, tell you here. Okay, so now find W plus and W minus. How to calculate this? This is the value, we have got it already. Okay, so now you check here, what is this value? Okay, negative value, I'm going to write it here in one color and positive value, I'm going to write it in one color. Okay, I'll be using uh, this yellow for negative. Okay, these are all the negative value. So here it is 1.5. Here it is 1.5, here it is four, okay? So I'm going to write seven. Seven is the negative value. So W minus will be seven for me, okay? Then I'm going to show it in a different color. Uh, what is this positive sign here? The positive sign here, three here, okay? Now that's all is positive. So my W plus will be equal to three here, okay? So now my W plus is three, and W minus is seven. Don't worry about the sign here. Okay, you should not write it as minus three and minus four and minus seven. I should not write. Okay, so minus alone in one total and plus alone is one total. So that I'll be having it here like W plus is three. Okay, so now and uh, here uh, W minus will be seven here. Okay, now this is three and this is four. It is seven. So I have to take the minimum of this. Minimum is nothing but three. So I should take W calc as three here. That's what I'm going to do it. So W calculated as value is three. So there is no formula here. There is only the procedure. So after this, I'm going to find out the uh, critical value from the Wilcoxon table here. I'm going to show that here. Test statistics, W is three. Therefore, W calc is written as three here. And the critical value for W from the table, I'm going to find it out here. Now, how many values are there? There are five values here, N1 and five values here. I'm going to meet it here. So I'll get the value of two here. So W critical is two. Now I'm going to compare these two. So and write the conclusion. W calculated is three, W critical is two and compare them. I'm going to compare W calculation is greater than W critical here. Therefore, the conclusion is the null hypothesis rejected a 5% level of significance because we have kept all false equal to 0 0.05. That is nothing but 5%. Okay, therefore we are saying 5% level of significance. Then what is the conclusion we are going to have? We conclude that 95% confidence that the median difference is not zero. Therefore, uh, the new therapy is effective. Okay, so just uh, uh, have your own example, just work it out once. If you have any doubt, just put it in the comment box so that we can uh, clear your doubts uh, whenever it is possible. If you like this video, kindly subscribe to my channel, share it to your friends so that we can put the new videos uh, very quickly. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.